So I randomly came across this Grandmaster match in the live replay section. And looking at the decks, I think this would actually be a fun game to commentate. And yeah, I'm actually serious when I say that. Not pulling your leg here. We're going to commentate this game. This is between... Uh, I can't read the names because the... Actually, it doesn't even display their names for some reason. But this is Cake versus... I don't know yet until we find... Until they usually control something. Let's see if they do. I'm hoping they do. Love Way Mouse. I'm just going to call them Way. So Way versus uh, Cake. So getting into this, we have Crawlers against this Archidon here. Looks like Wade's going to go straight for Cake's base, but Cake has a sword to defend his miners. Meanwhile, Cake with this Archer is going to gain tower control here. And Wade really isn't going to be able to engage with the Crawlers, so he's going to lose that first one. And now Cake has control of the tower. But taking a look at the decks here, from Wade we have... Crawlers, Dead, Jugs, Chaos Giants with upgrades, Projectile Shield, and Rune. And from Cake, Sword Archer, Jug, Enslaved Giant with no upgrades, Salvager, Smithy, Archies, and Control Web. So I do have to give my automatic respect to Wei here because they're using Toxic Deads in, in an unorthodox manner. You usually only see these guys in dead spam decks with acid rain and melee deads and all that. I almost never see toxic deads used in this manner. So I have to give respect to Wei for running a strategy like this, which I think automatically puts him at a disadvantage against Cake because he gets outranged by Archidons. There's Sword Wrath, which are good against toxic deads. And then there's Archies, which is already a powerhouse within itself. I don't even really have to talk about him that much. But here we go. Looks like Wei is being a little dangerous here, approaching the tower with those swords. He has another Toxic Dead, and he does have a bunch of Crawlers on standby, ready to move in. And it looks like now they're going to move in. So we have the tower skirmish here. Wei is looking to apply poison to all of these units, and he definitely has that applied. Uh, cake has no method of heal other than garrison i feel like that's gonna backfire against him at some point and look at that a ton of deads coming in for way he's gonna play smart and back up his crawler so they don't get kited down by the archer and we have a fantastic opening from way as he gets a huge early game advantage over cake however now archie is out and with that control of damage he's gonna be two shining deads He's going to be two shotting crawlers, so it's going to be pretty tough for Wei to deal with this, especially considering the stupid heavy cube in this game makes it hard to train units like Deads and Jugs together because you have to wait for one to train before the other trains. That's why I think the Q system needs a rework. Like, it needs a serious rework. But anyway, Tether is active. Cake is going to tether a Toxic Dead. Wade's going to go for the projectile shield against the Archidons. And now it's just a center tower uh, battle here. I feel like what Wade should be doing is using his Jug to defend his Crawlers from Archies. Because if Archies kills all the Crawlers, I think Wade is going to be at a bit of a disadvantage. However, Archies has been poisoned. And that's the one thing people don't seem to think about when the general gets poisoned they kind of shrug it off thinking they can survive it for a long time and they can but the problem is that poison does add up eventually and excellent plays from way here sniping poison on cake's archers and with no healing ward from cake it's actually going to do its toll and kill those archers eventually uh, Wei losing a lot of toxic deaths but he does have a jug to defend and he's continuing to just snipe poison on Cake's archers and it is taking its toll because now these archers are dying left and right and even Archies himself is not looking that healthy. Looks like Cake's gonna garrison one archer but he's gonna let the other two go down. And wait, how did, how did Archies cure? I don't know how Archies cured himself of poison but somehow he did. 
I, I, I genuinely don't know how he did that. Does using can just control up actually cure from poison? Or am I missing something here? I don't know. But here we go. It's like Kate's gonna go for the engagement here. And Wade is gonna garrison, use his toxic death to his advantage. And gonna go for another push here. Cake actually in danger of losing Archies. Very close to losing Archies. And there we go. Archies has now been defeated. And Wade has a Chaos Giant on the way out with the first growth upgrade. So this is actually his opportunity to push because uh, Cake is really not showing that much. Sure, he has his Archer count, but it, it's losing to these deads. I really do think that this is Wei's chance. This army is looking very strong from him, and I got to give him respect for using crawls as well. Oh, no. Cake with the Enslaved Giant. I didn't even see him train that. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, Wei is definitely going to have to use that giant to get in Cake's face and prevent that enslaved giant from annihilating his deads because it is entirely possible with the catapult mode. Uh, Cake is going to opt to go behind the enslaved giant to give his crawlers some breathing room here. However, uh, Wei's giant ain't looking too healthy right now. He's actually going to die pretty soon. Uh, I feel like this is bad. See, the thing is, Cake is off in a trained jugs, which is sparing his enslaved giant. And Wade did the same thing. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Don't tell me it ends like this. These deads are getting wrecked by this catapult mode. Oh, my God. No way it ends like... Oh, my God. This is awful. This is awful. Yep. Yet another instance of enslaved giants being overpowered and dominating everything. That is super unfortunate for Wei. Like I actually have to give him a lot of respect here for running a deck that's actually a lot harder to execute, especially in Grandmaster of all places. But his army got murked by one enslaved giant in catapult mode. How very, very unfortunate for him. But still pretty good game nonetheless.